Hello my beautiful beaters and welcome to my channel and today I have just my naked face going on. I got my big old sweater, my sweat in my yoga pants and just uh, gonna be a chill day. Um, I'm having some computer issues so I'm like well let's just do something while I'm trying to transfer over product and stuff so I don't lose it because the hard drive is dying. But anyway, um, I've been reading Marie Kondo's life-changing magic of tidying up and you know I've been uh, you guys have seen me do declutters throughout my channel several times and I just did a clothing declutter um, but I decided to try her method I cite my smaller clothes because I I'm on a weight loss journey I'm about 60 pounds down now and I have 40 pounds to go to reach my goal weight. And so, um, so with that, I've been having to declutter my clothes a lot more often because I'm losing weight. So, I mean, one of the things that I've had to give up was my wedding band, <laughs> just so weird. So when I was at my smallest weight, my ring finger was a size seven. Then, after I gained my 100 pounds, my ring finger was still a size 7. It never changed, but since I've lost 60 pounds, my finger is now a size 5. My finger has never been a size 5, ever in my life. So if you've been noticing ring changes, that's because I keep having to downsize because my finger keeps getting smaller. So. With that said, which is good, I mean, I'd rather, I told my husband that I'll set aside my wedding band and once I reach my 100 pound goal, I will go get it resized because then I know exactly what my ring finger size is. But right now, I'm a size five and I was a size seven. I've always been a size seven for, it's, even in high school, this finger was a size seven. So it's just weird to me, but anyway, so I decided to start reading the life-changing magic of tidying up and I decided to try Marie Kondo's version but with that said I still think that a lot of this stuff in there is quite silly um, thanking your items thanking your clothing for being clothing thanking your socks to me that's just those are inanimate objects they have no souls they're just an object there's nothing to them yes you use them but you don't need to thank something that has no soul you could be thankful for those things but actually physically thanking them If it's garbage, it's garbage. I don't need to thank it for being garbage. So, with that said, if you guys do that, which there's TJ Ways, I watch her all the time and she does the Marie Kondo, love her, she thanks her items, which is fine. I still watch TJ Ways. But for me personally, I don't do that. So, don't take offense, it's just what I believe and so if you want to do that, fine, dandy, it's your life, do it. But for me, I won't be thanking my products, but I will be starting with my clothing. Obviously the clothing I'm wearing, I'm not going to declutter, even though this is like 50 times too big for me now. Um, I wear it around the house. It's my everyday stuff. I love it and I won't get rid of it. It makes me happy. It does bring me joy. So let's get on to decluttering so I'm gonna go get my clothes dump them all on the sheet and let's go through it together shall we shall we Going, I'm just gonna start going through 
Um, this little pile here was all stuff that I washed and I just hadn't put away yet. So I will go through um, Bridesmaid's dress for my sister's wedding. I don't need it. Get rid of it. Actually, this tub, since it's empty, is gonna be all everything I'm getting rid of. realize it but all of my hanging clothes are all there um, and those are all going back in my drawers so there's actually a lot less going back into my drawers now and this is being hung up and then this is everything I'm getting rid of so one big huge tub full of stuff now I do have a couple bags here of bras I as I was gaining weight I was deciding to save a lot of my bras just in case when I did lo lose weight I can get back into them so I have two bags of bras here I actually want to try them on everything in this bag I'm pretty sure I can wear this one is the next size down below that but I still want to go through and get rid of some stuff that just isn't my style anymore stuff that I know I'm not gonna wear but yeah I want to go through these I did not pull out the bras out of my drawer because I did not want those on camera obviously so I will go through these 
Okay, out of the two bags of bras that I had, I'm keeping seven and I'm getting rid of 21. And I'm gonna go through my current drawers and see if I need to downsize on those bras, um, get rid of my big ones. So there's 21, I'm keeping seven out of the two bags. So I'm gonna also go through my drawer and see what else I can get rid of. Okay, so I decluttered two sports bras, or three sports bras and two bras out of that. So that's a total of 26 bras that I just decluttered. I am keeping 10 sports bras and 10 bras. I think that's still quite excessive, but it's always good to have different colored options and plus bras just break down anyway. So I'm really excited about getting rid of over half of my, my I'm really excited that I got rid of over half of my bras, got rid of 26, kept 20. 10 being sports bras, 10 being regular bras. And yeah, so I got rid of this whole tub of clothes. That's awesome. My bra drawer, even though I only decluttered five out of my current bra drawer, I had room for the seven that I kept from in here. I tried on every single one, even my smaller ones. And if they just weren't my style anymore, I just, got rid of it. I'm like, I'm not holding on to it even though they're two sizes smaller. So those are my keep. Those are going back in the drawers. And that's all of my clothes right there, there, and then my socks, and then my unmentionables. So I am really excited that I actually now officially do not have any more clothing stored out in the garage. Whatever clothing is out in the garage is stuff I'm getting rid of those are going bye bye So they're gonna be donated or thrown in the garage sale or something like that. So now I know for sure I have everything in the house that I will possibly wear and leave it at that. And I'm super excited about this declutter, even though I literally just decluttered a month ago. So obviously the KonMari method does work when it comes to throwing everything out so you can see exactly what you have. Once you see exactly what you have, it's easier to go through. I am just super proud of myself for getting rid of all of this. And I'm gonna go take this out in the garage and say, say la vie, you'll never go into this house again, ever. So super excited about that. So I'm gonna go put away all this stuff go take that on the garage and so I'll just leave it at that and I will see you guys in my next video bye